I think that's important to have someone that is by you that represents you. So who has been the biggest influence for you marketing wise um, in the last two years? Marketing wise, that's a tough one. I do have a lot of people that inspire me um, in the hospitality industry in different ways. I think one, the first name that comes to my mind that inspired me by his knowledge of marketing, that one, one of the first ones that I start following on LinkedIn and actually for being such a nice person to me and helping me in the beginning. He was one of the first ones that I ever interviewed. His first interview was not even record, was not even podcast because I was not, I was not brave enough. I started slowly. So I did uh, his interview was by phone back then. And, you know, and I have to, and I transcripted because I didn't want, I was not, I was too nervous. And this is Rupesh Patel from the US, Florida. He is, uh, he's a really, really nice guy. And he have, I don't know, I don't know how many years of experience in, the, in hospitality. He does a lot, uh, a lot of work um, trying to support the industry. And when I, again, when I start to following him, he was already big, he was, I don't know, 15,000 followers, I don't, you know, it was like a thousand or something. And, and he was extremely nice to me. He gave me this, uh, one of the first interviews. And he also inspired me with his knowledge as well, not only as his person, but knowledge. So if I'm marketing wise uh, in hospitality, I would definitely say him. But I do want to mention another person that inspired me a lot in hospitality industry. Uh, and is Christine Trippi. She's also from the United States. And she's also like an, um, just an amazing person. Like her energy, it's contagious. You know, she is like, I, I don't know. He's, she's a force. And she's also one of the first ones that I got in touch with. And she's, again, really, really nice. And she, she even, like she, this is amazing. Like I was just starting again and she was one of the one of the few that I did with the interview by the phone that I was mentioning was Rupesh and her and then after I was like okay so I'm gonna do this uh I'm gonna do the podcast it was just after her and she was very very nice to me and I was okay I can do it let's do it Paul and I told her okay Christina you inspire me da, da, da. so I'm gonna do the podcast and then she actually recorded a video so this is going an extra mile. Like she recorded a video saying, Paula, I'm so happy that you're doing this. And then I was like, like this person, then she doesn't even know me. She was award-winning manager at Marriott. She was just starting her own, uh, she was just leaving Marriott back then and starting her, the Wise Pineapple Company. And she was like, took her time to record a video to encourage me, you know, and say that she was proud of me. And I was like, that was like wow and until today i can say that she's my friend and she inspires me she's a woman too and i think that's important uh to have you know someone that inspires you that to represent you you know that yeah. really represent you and 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 that's that's the way it is i think we we have progress we had a lot of progress in this area with women and all that and culture diversity but we still have a long way to go and anyway, so I would say this too, uh, but I have a lot of many others. So no, I, I don't want anyone to be hurt. <laughs> but I have a lot of inspiration this way. Yeah, it's, it's always nice picking people that were really there at the start of the journey. And I know you have a lot of people that inspire you. So those two are absolutely perfect. And I think I actually remember seeing the stuff that you did with Rapesh. I've re followed Rapesh for a long time as well. And he always inspires me. Um, so th they're great, phenomenal people that you've chosen. Um, so, you know, last question, I think, because we've been chatting quite a while. Where do you see yourself in the five years? What's your main goals? 
Uh, being honest again, I, have, I don't know <laughs> yet. If you asked me for like three years ago, if I would be in content marketing and doing what I, I'm doing now, I would be like, you're crazy. <laughs> so that's one thing that I've learned in my life. Do not, uh, I think we have to have goals. I think it, it, you, you, it helps you get somewhere. You know, I think you, you need that. But I don't know. I, I hope or I'm trying to at least uh, to be, it's cliche, but to be a better version of myself, like in every aspect, uh, including work, uh, of course, I do want to, um, to be, be even better, uh, and, uh, even better in the marketing and content marketing specifically, which is my passion. Uh, I want to be, more how get to have more i don't know self development i'm working on that so i'm i'm reading a lot and doing courses to you know i don't know i just want i just want to i want to prove i want people to hopefully in 5 years people will look at me and will say oh she you know she worked for it and she's a nice person and i don't know they say that already the- paula they're going to be saying that in 5 years too i think you know, you've inspired so many people out there. You've been a big inspiration for me. And I just absolutely you love too, you. Me. You know, like it's been fun. That's the thing. It's been amazing to get to know you over the two years. One of my goals in the next five years is to come out and see you. So, <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was a good goal. I love that. Yeah, you, 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 do, you do inspire me, Amy, because as you said, you we started kind of together in a way. Yeah, and oh my God, you're, you're, there, is, there is someone that it's real and go for it and courage it too. So yeah, you do, you, when every time if I think like, mm, maybe, should I do that? Or, you know, I, I think of you because you, you, you go for it and I love it. I love it. Yeah. And you do as well. I think it's been, it's been an amazing journey because you've done so much new stuff. And we can't wait to see the new stuff that you do in the future. And But I'm going to stop recording now. Um, so, because I think we've been chatting for quite a while and Sarah's going to have to edit oh. this. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, you can cut it whenever you want. I suppose we should say thanks so much for watching everybody and hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. And if anybody's got okay. any questions, they can reach out to myself or Paula. We are here to kind of help and guide you. If you want some off the wall advice and, um, but if you're looking for mental help um, and, you know, need proper um, assistance, then do look online for at Hospitality Action because they'll be absolutely be able to guide you through that process. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Paula, for joining me. Thank you, Amy. Uh, thanks, everybody. And keep in touch. <laughs>